Hey guys, so I'm back for part two of learning to crochet and we're gonna pick up right where we left off in part one. And I have a boo-boo, so I have a cute little cupcake band-aid that I have from my daughter. So let's get started. What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and go back and count those chains that we've already made. Remember we made a slip knot and then we made some chains. So let's count our chains, you should have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And what I want to do is go ahead and make another chain to make a total of eleven. And this eleventh chain will count as our first stitch, which will go right above this tenth chain. So we're going to work into the next chain. So if you look here, this is the chain 11, this is the chain 10, and so now we're going to work into chain 9, and we're going to make a single crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my hook into the top loop of that third from the hook, third chain from the hook, okay? So one, two, three. So I'm going to insert my hook into the top loop of that chain, and I'm going to yarn over and pull through and see I have I have two loops on my crochet hook so I'm going to yarn over again and pull the yarn through both of those loops on my hook and we have just made a single crochet okay so let's move on to the next chain if you look there's the loop insert your hook into that loop yarn over pull through there's two loops on our hook yarn over pull through Moving on to the next chain, insert into that top loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And counting is very, very important in crocheting. You want to make sure that you have the same amount of stitches when you get to the end as chains that you made. So we're going to count those whenever we get to the end of this chain. pull through, insert into that loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through, insert into that loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And we have reached our last chain, so I'm going to insert in my hook into that loop, yarn over and pull through, then I'm going to do it again, yarn over and pull through. So let's count our stitches and make sure that we still have 10. So this was the last single crochet that we made. And as you can tell, the single crochets look differently than the chains do. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this chain that we made will count as our 10th stitch because this started our stitches. So we will count this chain as our 10th stitch. Okay, so I'm going to insert my hook back into my loop and pull down tight on it. And I just took it off so that we could count the stitches. So to begin, our next row is what it's called. We're working in rows back and forth. I'm going to chain to begin. I'm just yarning over and pulling through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip my work this direction. Just using my fingers to flip my work in the other direction. So now we're looking at the other side of our single crochets, okay? So if you look, we have a chain directly above that last single crochet that we made. So we're not going to work into this single crochet. We're actually going to work into the one right next to it because this chain counted as our first stitch which goes along with that last single crochet that we made. So I'm going to insert my hook into this single crochet and this is going to look differently than working into a chain because now we're working into single crochets and if you look loops in the single crochet so this is the first single crochet we made this is the chain we made so we're working into this second single crochet okay so I'm inserting my hook into those two loops, okay? Make sure that you grab both loops. So there should be a total of three on your hook. One, two, and three. Okay, and there's a nice space that your hook will fit right through 
of that single crochet. So you're going to yarn over and pull through and now we have those two loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through. So let's do that again. Here is our next single crochet. We're going to insert our hook and I use my middle finger as kind of a guide because if you see my hook is touching the tip of my finger and that's how I know that my hook has entered into that space. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. There's two loops. I'm yarning over and pulling through to our next single crochet. And you also want to make sure that this finger is keeping this yarn taut across here because you don't want this back loop to get too loose. You want to make sure to keep these loops evenly as tight. Yarn over and pulling through. We're going to work all the way back down going through each single crochet and we're going to count these to make sure that we only have 10 and the counting part can be tricky at first because when you look at something like this especially when it's small like this you kinda like okay where are my stitches what am I counting here okay so I'm going to help you with the counting so if you look here this is the last single crochet in this row. Okay, so let's single crochet into that. Now here's the tricky part, guys. We have to crochet into that chain that we made when we turned. Because if we don't, this is what's going to start happening. Your edge is going to start looking like this. We want a nice straight edge, so you do not want to forget to reach down here and crochet into that chain. So remember our chains just have that one loop, so that's what you're going for. The single crochet has the two loops, the chain just has the one. So I'm going to take my hook, I'm reaching down here to that one little loop, and I'm using my middle finger to guide my hook into that space. Okay, I need to make sure that my yarn is as tight as it should be on those loops. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. So I've made sure to reach down and grab that chain so we should have 10 when we count across. So let's count. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. This is that first chain that we made. And it's gonna be kinda tricky until you get an eye for what your stitches look like. But with practice, you will start to identify them and be easy peasy. So I'm going to insert my hook back into that loop. And once again, we're going to have to make a chain and then turn our work. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through and I've made a chain. And I'm just going to flip my work to the other side. So that counted as my first stitch that matches up that last single crochet we made. So now we're going to work into our next single crochet, which is right here. Insert. Should be two loops on the top. Yarn over. Yarn over and pull through. Insert. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. So I'm going to go ahead and work to the end and then we're going to chain and flip again. Um, tell you something real quick. When you're single crocheting into your single crochets, you want to make sure that you don't do this. See, I'm only grabbing part of that stitch. There's only one loop of the two, so I need to make sure to go back and grab both of those loops to make sure that I'm single crocheting into the complete single crochet, okay? So that's why it's always good to count the loops that are on your hook. So we're at the end and it can kind of look a little messy and kind of confusing and you're thinking, okay, where was that chain? Where in the world do I crochet into? So if you look right here, and the nice thing about crocheting with this multicolored yarn is that this loop stands out really well so that I can show you guys. So this is where I need to reach down and grab that chain to make a single crochet. So I'm going to insert into that loop Okay. I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through to make sure that I grab that chain so that we have even edges. So we're going to chain and turn again. I'm just flipping it over in the other direction. Okay. 
All right, so this counted as our first stitch. This was that first single crochet right below it. So now we're going to work into that next single crochet and make some more single crochets. And the more you do this, the more comfortable you'll get at it. And you'll pick up those two loops of that single crochet and you'll be able to work quickly down your rows. And when we get to the end of this row, I'm going to show you how to count your rows in case you lose track. Sometimes, whenever things get somewhat jumbled, you can move things aside to reveal where that single crochet is. And sometimes it can get a little tight. So just wiggle it in. Okay, so now we need to make sure we crochet into that chain we made. And so here's my loop right here that I need to make sure to single crochet into. Okay, so if you look, I have a nice straight edge. Okay, and this edge is nice and straight. So I'm going to show you how to count rows. Okay, this is the direction of our work because here's our tail, and this is the direction we work to begin with with our chain foundation. So if you look, this is what's remaining of that chain, that first chain that we made, okay? And we single crochet into this chain. So this right here counts as our first row, okay? This, this portion right here will count as our second row. And then this is our third row. And it kind of has like a ribbed look to it and that will kind of help you to be able to count your rows and when you flip it over you can kind of tell as well where your new row begins so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just keep watching it if you um, didn't get it the first time keep trying um, it can be a little confusing at first but don't give up and I can't wait to make part three and show you guys how to make a double crochet Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.